Hi, welcome to AvaCoast.com. This video is going to talk a little bit about how to install WordPress blog onto your cPanel hosting with AvaCoast.com. A lot of times we think some of these things are a lot more difficult than what they really are. So we're actually going to take you step by step how to install the WordPress blog from the homepage of AvaCoast.com and then all the way to actually getting it installed. So uh, as you can see on the screen right now, we have the homepage of AvaCoast.com pulled up. You want to go ahead and on the left hand side underneath where you see live chat, you'll actually see a cPanel login section. This is where you can put in your username and password for your cPanel hosting and actually be able to log in. So we're going to go ahead and type uh, our demo account here into the username and then our password here and go ahead and click on the little button here that says log in and sometimes you might get that little pop-up box there but nevertheless give it a few moments here to, to load up alright this is your cPanel control panel if you will and what you want to do is go ahead and scroll down and where you see Fantastico here it's the little smile face uh, blue smile face you want to go ahead and click on that take a moment for this to load up now there's actually several different types of software uh, that you can install that's pretty much ready to go or does a self install uh, really what you want to do is look over here for blogs in this area here and down here you can see where it says WordPress and this is probably one of the most popular blogs that are out there on the web today go ahead and click on WordPress there and then on your right hand side you now see where it says WordPress it gives you a short description a link to the support forum new installation and any current installations that you might have. We're going to go ahead and click the link here that says new installation and we'll wait just a moment for that to load up. And then if you had a couple different domains you could choose from that drop down list there. Uh, we're just doing the demo here and then install on directory. This you could actually leave blank if you just wanted for example uh, demo.com and then to automatically pull up the blog or if you wanted to have it a, a you know specific address such as demo.com forward slash blog etc so we're actually going to just type in blog here so our address would be www.demo.com slash blog and then that would take us to the home page of the blog you can also put your username and your password uh, for the administrative access data here this would be what you would need to use to log into the blog and to be able to write uh, manage the blog change the way the blog looks add links and that kind of thing there so you want to make sure that you save those uh, passwords there admin nickname this is what you want for uh, when you do write a blog that will show up uh, so for example if I was to write a blog it might show up uh, demo if I put in the, the name demo there or I could actually type in my name which is Michael and then every time I make a, a writing through the blog and log in under the administrative access it'll actually automatically put the name Michael as the uh, blog administrator blog creator if you will and you could write a description here if you want I generally don't because I like to kind of change the themes and uh, play around with the design so you could always add this later but let's just say that you uh, want to go ahead and add a description um, so we're going to talk maybe this is a demo video blog for cPanel and this would basically just kind of go under your name uh, so your blog name is demo uh, and demo videos for cPanel go ahead and press the install WordPress button here and then you're actually going to get some information here uh, and what this is telling us is that it's going to automatically in create the MySQL database for us. I'm going to go ahead and click on the finish installation button and that's going to take just a moment and then it's giving us the address to our configure and our data school uh, which you probably won't ever really need to use those those items unless you're doing some really advanced programming and that kind of thing. Now one thing that's great about this here is that you can actually send yourself an email of all the settings so that way you don't forget your password and your username and that kind of thing just go ahead and send send yourself an email and send that there I highly recommend doing that the reason why I recommend doing that is because if for some reason you forget something or if you need to reference it later back you have that email there whether you choose to print that out and put it into a file or just save it into a folder in your email box but in either case it will give you all the login information will let you know what the address is uh, matter of fact right here you can see where it tells us the 
uh, what the demo address is going to be for the login for the blog and so and that's it you're done and you've actually installed your WordPress blog so it's a pretty simple process there to do if you go into this address you'll actually be able to uh, log in and then start kind of uh, going through some of the different uh, options that that has to offer once you log in. That concludes our demo. Please be sure to uh, visit our website for hosting if you're not already hosting with us. Again, our website is www.avekhost.com. Again, that's www.avekhost.com. And because you've seen this video on YouTube, you can enter the promotion code YouTube to get your first month absolutely free. That's right. First month service, absolutely free here at avacoast.com. Thanks again for watching, and we look forward to putting out more videos for you.